Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a resource for 5PD which adds a few cool new menus to the game and we're going to take a look at those right now just to get straight off the bat. If you're near one of the locker room buildings inside of a police office, you then get the option to change your outfits, get your loadouts, return all your weapons, refill your health and armor and go in duty. If you are outside of your car, you can go ahead and get a spike strip, put back a fire extinguisher, put back the rifle, refill your ammo, etc. Same with grabbing those from the trunks as well. And then if you are outside at a police station, you can go ahead and spawn your car, modify the liveries, colors, etc. Um, so it's a really cool resource that just adds these extra few menus to 5PD, which personally I really, really enjoy, mainly because I think it really helps with the quick access of things. Rather than key bindings and stuff and different key bind menus, it will automatically pop up when you are there. You just press E at the location and it will go ahead and open, which is really easy to do. All right, so let's go ahead and download this file. You're going to download it from the GTA Police Mods website. The link will be in the top of the description. Agree and download, read the terms of service and all of that. Once you download it, open it up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, however you open up these files. And it's a little bit different than we normally do. You can see all you get from here is a DLC. Um, application and net.dll so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your resources into your 5pd folder you do need 5pd for this to work if you don't have 5pd installed already i would recommend checking out the video or reinstall 5pd the link will be down in the description um, so once you are in your 5pd folder you're just going to go into the plugins folder and there's probably going to be nothing here unless you have installed plugins before and you're just going to drag in that .net.dll into your plugins folder and you start up your server it's even simpler there's nothing in your server.cfg file there's nothing like that it's literally drag and drop the not .net .dll into your 5pd plugins folder and launch your game. So let's go in and get in game and check it out. All right, so we are here at the police station Sandy Shores, and you can see on our little mini-map, there are icons with the duty thing and the garage outside. So all we have to do is run over to the door, press E, and then we can go ahead and change our outfit. We can also get a loadout, return our weapons, refill our health and army, and then um, armor. And then finally, we can go on duty as well, which is really, really cool. We can also go ahead and run outside, and if we stand over here, press E, you can see we can select the car, police or sheriff, depending on whatever you are. You can change the livery if you want, that would be the number, what color you want it to be, if there's any extras on it, like uh, a different type of light bar, whatever you feel like, depending on your server. Very, very cool. Um, if we go ahead and get in our car and move it out of the way, we can go ahead and take a look. Uh, you can also see there's a little blue circle on the ground, which is really cool. If we go ahead and go to the back of our trunk here, and we go ahead and press E, you can see it opens up this. We can put back a fire extinguisher, take a rifle, put back the shotgun or refill our ammo very very cool like that and then you got this and you're good to go so thank you so much for hanging out with me today i apologize for the lack of 5m slash 5pd videos this week i've been really really busy on finishing up the semester and i had to pre-record a bunch of these videos today um so minecraft was this week mainly than this video but we have more videos coming next week i can't wait to share it with you hopefully we've hit 5,000 subscribers if not please consider subscribing or either way please consider subscribing uh if we did hit 5,000 subs, a face reveal is coming in a future vlog type video. So, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in two days. Goodbye.